I think this human comparison also lends itself to some rhetoric that's pretty misleading. So over the past five decades, you've probably seen some headlines that look like this. No jobs, blame the robots. Well, that headline would be a little more accurate if it was no jobs, blame company decisions driven by unbridled corporate capitalism. Not such a pithy headline, but more accurate because it's not the robots taking the jobs, right? Thinking of robots as quasi-humans, giving them this agency in our language really lends itself to a determinism about our future and about the automation of labor, when in reality, we have choices. We don't like to see this, but we have choices. We could be using technology to help people do a better job rather than trying to automate them away. If you look at warehouse workers today, it's kind of like that Charlie Chaplin movie, Modern Times, where companies have automated as much of the process as they can. And so they're treating the human workers like a part of the machine. The, they have scan guns that count down the seconds between tasks. They make them do things that they are clearly hoping that they can eventually automate once the technology gets better. But that's not the only way to think about or handle human labor like a replaceable commodity. So take, for example, the United States Patent and Trademark Office. I know that a lot of patent and trademark offices are dealing with the problem that you have patent examiners that get tons of applications on their desk. They need to decide whether any invention is new enough to warrant patent protection. And so technically they have to sift through all of the world's information in order to make that determination, which is impossible. And so, you know, one of the things that the United States Patent and Trademark Office could have done, which I have seen companies do, is they could have said, hmm, I wonder if we could train artificial intelligence on you know, the historic data that we have and have it make determinations that are, you know, have a slightly better hit rate than the examiners. Because even if it's just slightly better than the very poor job that we're doing right now, then we can get rid of all these people and not have to pay them their salaries. No, instead, what they said was, how can we use this technology to help our people do a better job? And so they started looking for ways to use AI to surface some of the prior art that the examiners wouldn't have found on their own, and then letting the humans do what they do best, which is make that judgment call, that determination.